warm greeting to one and all dear friend myself dr sb kishor welcome you all in our today session in the last session we have discussed about what is sampling how to determine the sample size then what are the different types of sampling technique and we have populated the data using a simple random technique and using a systematic random technique so in the today sessions we are going to discuss about how to populate the data or how to select the sample data using a stratified sampling technique so these are the steps that you need to follow in order to populate the data okay this is just for your reference purpose okay we are going to follow all the steps during our practical session so let's move to an excel sheet now assume this is what your we have a column something like roll number name gender age and what dummy mail id and we have a data of 30 student okay it means our population size is of what 30 student out of that we have total 21 male students so how to know how to count it is simply a using countif function you can find out the number of male student in your entire population it start with what d5 d5 to d34 and that is how you are able to count the number of male students similarly you can find out total number of female student and total population is what simply additions of these two will give you what a total population it means the 70% of the population is of what male while the 30% of the students are what they are the female student it means now in order to populate the sample size of 10 students what you need to do we need to populate 7 male student and while 3 female student out of this entire population now such kind of thing is not possible using your simple random sampling or systematic what sampling technique because it works on entire population okay while in this case we want to populate according to what certain classification called as gender so now how to what is our question so first of all try to understand our question select randomly 10 students in equal proportion according to what a gender size according to the gender size we need to populate the data so first of all add a new column say random number at the beginning so it means first of all you need to create a new column and give a heading called as random number then generate a random number for all the rows so how to do it by using a rand function that is random it will generate a number between 0 to 1 and this number has been generated this is what using a function rand function we are able to generate any random number between 0 to 1 now we need to generate this random number for all the rows so what you need to do simply double click over here so it will going to generate the random number for all this row now again remember what is this number it's what 0 0.341 observe that what is going to be happen double click this value will get what rechange now it means whenever you are going to perform certain operation it might be possible that this random number is going to regenerate now in order to convert this random number into a value what you need to do select the entire column and then from the home tab select the copy option and then under the page select what value now observe that this become what a value this is not a function it means we have converted all the random number into what corresponding values the next step is what sort according to the gender it means we need to classify it according to this now here we first of all will try to understand what is stratified random sampling technique so first classify the heterogeneous population data according to certain grouping column so here what is our grouping column gender is what here our grouping column so which is basically refer as what strata it means it is going to divide a two part one is consist of male and second is what female and we'll now have what homogeneous values and once this classification has been done the next step is what it means now we have a two separate subpopulation one consists of what male and second is consists of what female now follow your old technique what is that simple random sampling technique or systematic sampling technique in order to populate the data okay so now so select this entire table so simply press ctrl a now control whenever you are going to press a control a it will select all the adjacent values except now observe that here since here you have blank column it is not going to select this similarly here there is a what blank row it is not going to select this part now click on data tab select a sorting so sorting on what sorting on gender in which order from z to a whether we have table contain the header yes it contain the header then within that add a new level and now select what a random number in which order smallest to largest okay now observe that 
all the male student has appeared at the top while all the female student has appeared at the bottom now what you need to do simply select for seven student uh, five six seven okay and copy this value into a new sheet paste it means we have copied what a seven student similarly copy for three female student and put them okay it means what now you have all the populated student at one place we have a total seven male and three female student okay this technique is useful when you have uh, only two classifications say male and female now assume if there you have a large number of classifications in that case copying something like this is what a time consuming job so what we want we want to have all our populated data at one place okay so how to do it so for that purpose first of all insert one blank row at each change in the classification values now observe here what all the male and here it start with what female so first of all you need to insert one blank row so similarly you need to follow a same technique at each change now since here we have only two values of different values we need only blank one blank row okay then next one is what using a filter select the topmost seven student among the male and change the phone color with red using filter so you can select like this or you can also press simply control a no issue filter then what select the number filter within that top 10 option we require only seven student and since the order is what it is from the smallest to largest you need to write or you need to select here what bottom option and now click ok so it has selected what a seven rows so it is very simple now what you can do you can change the color of all of them say to red bold now remove this filter option now same technique you need to follow for what a female student select including the blank rows filter option we need only three students so top three sorry bottom three okay click on ok and now again home change the color say blue okay so we have performed both this operation now next step is what remove this filter and remove the blank rows remove all the blank rows now since we have here only one blank row it's very simple simply right click and select the delete option now if you have a more than one blank row you can follow these steps in order to remove all the blank rows at once okay now what we need to do we need to sort according to the color we need to sort this data according to the color so simply press ctrl a entire data has been selected now sort remove all the previous sorting options and now add a level sort by what a random number sort on what a phone color in which color first you need all the red color at top again add a new level select again random number phone color select now blue and at the last what you required all the remaining colors phone color it is the automatic simply press ok button now observe that all the populated data has been placed together now it's very simple to copy all these values okay create a say, new sheet and paste all these values so this is a simple way to populate or in order to put all the populated data at one place if you have a more number of what uh, attributes now finally what kind of operation you can perform select all of them copy press ctrl c now now select your gmail if you have and now select your compose option and Select here CC, CC option so that no one will come to know to whom you have sent this particular survey question. Now assume that we want to send a survey question to all the students. So write here subject, say survey questions. You can write certain additional information over here and finally you need to send what attached file. Assume that we have already created what a survey question file. Okay and finally click on open button and simply press a send button so all the students will get what a survey question so this is one of the action that you can perform once you have populated the data so i hope that you have understood how to work with what a stratified sampling technique
so now remember what is the advantage this concept is useful only when you have what a certain attributes or you are able to classify a data in the absence of such uh, classification the stratified simple technique is not going to work okay so practice it with that thank you thank you very much have a nice day